Tomorrow is test two. The topic is momentum, impulse, and collision. This is the tutorial. We're gonna start our conversation by defining the definition of a momentum. Momentum P is, is equal, mass is m, motion is velocity. Velocity is a vector quantity. You multiply scalar, which is mass, with a vector, which is v, then you get a vector quantity. So momentum is a vector quantity. The SI unit for momentum, m is kilogram, and v is meter per second. So SI unit for momentum is kilogram meter per second. Let's give you an example to help you understand the momentum. Let's say I have a 50 kilogram object, so 50, 50 kilogram, 50 kilogram granite. All right, moves with 100 meter per second. What would be the momentum? So the momentum would be M and V. So 50 kilogram times 100 meter per second would be 5,000 kilogram meter per second. So what can you do with the momentum? All right, momentum, very helpful idea and very helpful concept to solve the problem. What type of solve, problem we can solve? Let's say you have the granite, you shoot a bullet to the granite. The granite broke in three pieces and you try to find the velocity and mass of unknown pieces. All right, so three pieces, one, two, and three. So mass one is say 20 kilogram, mass two, 15 kilogram, and mass 3, 15 kilograms. Velocity 1, velocity 2, and velocity 3, meter per second, and velocity 2, 20 meter per second. You want to find the velocity 3. How can you do that? Okay, so you're going to have to use the momentum. Momentum before is equal to momentum after. Momentum before is how much? 5,000. Momentum after M1 V1 plus M2 V2 plus M3 V3. So 5,000 is equal to M1 is how much? 20 times negative 30. Look at that. Plus 15 times 20 plus 15 V3. So 5,000 is equal to negative 600 plus 300 plus 15 V3. 5,000 is equal to negative 300 plus 15 V3. 5,300 is equal to 15 V3. So V3 is equal to 5300 over 50 meter per second. That's about 353. So this is velocity 3 would be 353 meter per second. About. But check it out with your calculator. So momentum is a very powerful concept. So impulse is uh, Newton's second law. So what is Newton's second law? We're going to write Newton's second law in terms of impulse. So what is P? P is momentum. Alright, momentum is MB. What about delta P? And delta V. Alright, so we're gonna replace that by and delta V over delta T. So F is equal to N delta V over delta T. Delta V over delta T delta V over delta T is equal to A, so F equal to A. Alright, so impulse is... Newton's second law, Newton's second law is impulse. Now we're going to go backward. We're going to show Newton's second law is impulse. So F equal to N, so delta V over delta 
delta t. So f is equal to m delta v over delta t. So f is equal to m delta v, m delta v is delta v. So delta v over delta t. Alright, so change in momentum is equal to f delta t. And that is impulse. That is impulse. Impulse is change in momentum, which is f delta t. Now, impulse is also a vector quantity. Why is that? Because a vector multiplied by a scalar, that makes it a vector quantity. What would be the SI unit for impulse? Newton second. Newton second is equivalent to kilogram meter per second. Okay, why is that? Because in Newton you have kilogram meter per second squared and you have second on the top. Second goes to second squared s times. Therefore, this and this are the same. An example of impulse. A 1000 kilogram car moves with 20 meter per second subject to subject to a force which uh, increases velocity from 20 to let's say 30. Uh, increase velocity uh, velocity to 20 to 30 meter per second. I want you to find number one initial momentum, number two momentum by the number three change in momentum, number four impulse, number five. You want to find if impulse impulse lasts a small amount of time, find the force. If impulse lasts second then find the force and if impulse lasts long time find the force okay the impulse would be the same but force would be the different if impulse lasts only small amount of time then force be big if impulse lasts a small amount of if impulse lasts a small amount of time then force be very small all right let's just start with one so, P, uh, momentum initial is M, V initial, which is M is 1000 times V is 20. So, 20,000 kilogram meter per second. Momentum final will be M, V final. So, 1000, third. So, 30,000. So change in momentum would be momentum final minus momentum initial 30,000 minus 20,000 is equal to 10,000 kilogram meter per second. Impulse is change in momentum so it is also 10,000. You can write kilogram meter per second, or you can write newton second. All right, number five. If impulse lasts a small amount of time, so then we have to find the force. If impulse lasts a small amount of time, lasts a small amount of time, then what would be the force? So ten thousand. 3, 4. Alright, so then what do you get? So 100 meter. 100 million what? Newton. Alright, if impulse, if impulse act a small amount of time, you have big force. If impulse, then you have small force. All right, very nice. That take us to the collision. Plastic and 
perfect elastic. All right, perfect in uh, far, far, far in elastic. Okay, so what about the momentum? Momentum is conserved. Also conserved. What about the kinetic energy? Kinetic energy does does not conserve. Conserve. All right, so first consider this problem. Mass one is 10,000 kilogram, and velocity one is 24. Collide with mass two, same, Mass 2 is also 10,000. Uh, but uh, velocity 2 is zero. This is before. After. They collide with each other and they stuck together. Mass 1 and mass 2 is stuck together. So they have a final velocity. They have one final velocity because mass one and mass two stack together. Okay, so we know that if it, even if it is in elastic collision, this is in elastic collision, the momentum is conserved, so we're going to use it. Momentum before is equal to momentum after. All right, so what is it? M one v one plus m two v two is equal to m one v one plus m two v two. This is called prime. Prime represent the collision after collision. So this is at rest. So m1 v1 is equal to after there is only one velocity. So v so m1 is 10,000. 24 so 20,000 so 24,000 and, and 20,000 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 goes to 24, 12. So the velocity final will be. Show that the momentum is conserved. Momentum before is equal to momentum after. M1 V1 plus M. M2 V2 is equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2. Zero. M1 is 10,000, V1 is 24. So 24, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4. All right. 240,000 is equal to 12. is 0.3 times 2 that's after the collision 
and 0.5. So V1 is um, 0.8 over 0.5 negative. Wait for a second. Almost. So I have a gun. All right. So let's consider a gun. And then let's consider the bullet. This is before, and this is after. Now the bullet is after the gun. Velocity of the gun is zero. Velocity of the gun we have to find. Velocity of the bullet is zero. Velocity of the bullet is one hundred twenty meter per second. All right, so what are you gonna do? Mass, uh, mass of the gun, velocity of the gun, plus mass of the bullet, velocity of the bullet is equal to mass of the gun, velocity of the gun, plus mass of the bullet, velocity of the bullet. All right? So the gun is at rest, the bullet is at rest. So mg, five, and velocity of the gun we have to find. Mass of the bullet is 0.05 and velocity of the bullet is 120. Okay? So velocity of the gun after the after bullet leaves the gun is negative uh, 0 0.05 times 120 divided by 5. So the bullet gonna go this way, 120 meter per second, and the gun gonna go this way, 1.2 meter per second. You are in the middle of the river, and there is a boat, and the distance from the river to the shore is 60 meter, and then this is you. Now, the, the boat is not moving, so you have a book. You have a book. Book is one kilogram. One kilogram. You decided to throw the book. Ten meters per second. Okay? Find the time. It takes for you to get to the shore. Okay? In order to come to the shore, you're gonna throw the book at one direction so your boat gonna go to the different direction. So this is like Newton third law. Okay. Alright, so how can you solve this problem? Again, you're gonna do it by let's give some values. Uh, boat and you Boat plus U is 120. All right. So M1, B1 plus, uh, let's call not M1, M boat, V boat plus M book, V book is equal to M boat, V boat. Plus M book, V book. All right, the boat is at rest before you throw. The boat is at rest before you throw the book. After you throw the book, after you throw the book, the book is at rest. The boat is moving. So M book is how much? One. One times the, the ten. Uh, ten. It's equal to and both plus U is 100. So how long is it going to take? Velocity is distance over time. So then time is distance over velocity. Distance is 60, velocity is 0.1. Six hundred seconds. 
It's gonna take 600 seconds for you to come to the show. Now let's say all of a sudden there is a rain. And rain accumulate 10 kilogram of rain inside the boat. 10 kilogram of rain inside the boat. 10 kilogram. All right, so what would be the velocity of the boat? What would be the velocity of the boat? Before it is 0.1, is, is it gonna be less or more? No, that's it. Study this problem and you should be fine.